starting us off on this fine festive evening, brother. We got ourselves Alex Hall doing it out for Uncle Sam, 22 years young. Uh, don't take that lightly. Banking off the side of a wall, transferring over to a handbar that's about four feet away, and then tossing it back 450. Dude, that is steezy. Taking a fat seat on all the pyramid schemes there, brother. Look at this. Double under flip nine off of this pyramid feature. Dude, look how skinny that is. Look at the pressure on the tippity tails, man. He's setting that thing so hard that he's already completed the rotation before he sets off for orbit. Two clips in and I already need to exfoliate my pores. That's insane. That is crazy. Switch 630 onto this hub of feature. Doing it for the love of concrete, man. Love to see it. Slightly off axis too with that switch six, making it look extra steezy. Well, wow. how do you spin so quick? Like a 360 up, he makes it look so easy, but a 360 up into what, what is that? You measure that for me, maybe, maybe two feet and then being able to stall on the top of that chain link. And then look, yeah, pops down to the down bar, pops it out to switch. I'm surprised he didn't go for like a double misty eight out there, man, to be honest with you. I'm quite surprised. My mouth would still be open, but I needed to close it because I was going to salivate all over myself. That is, that's got to be the longest backslide I think I've ever seen. And that piece of oh, melted igneous ain't even straight, man. Look, she's kinked in the midst there. Ah, oh. oh. the layman is just going to look like a hall here is just lifting one of his hineys up in the air. But trust me, sliding down a thin piece of metal while lifting one of your legs throughout the entirety of that slickety slide, man. Oh, buddy, it ain't easy. It's ridiculous. Swerving up, butter in the loaf. Going for a hand plant 540 out there. And you can see he also got a tail tap on that fat piece of furniture. Dude, is this a bobsled course? Sick. There's so much going on with his clips. Like you literally need to break it down and appreciate all the intricacies. Wow. Wow, this is a good time, ain't it? Stop. Dude, holy buddy. 180 nose tap to the switch seven, making it a cork nine. And you can see he caps lead bleasy there. Look at that. Just pinching, man. Pinching the tip of the tail there. Holding that through the whole rotation too. Stop. Comes into the lip switch here, but right after he pops, you can see he's opening up that left shoulder to make that left 270 happen. But at the same time, his skis are pivoting in the opposite direction to get that 90 degree rotation. The tap Mr. Buddy Baroni over here, man. Oh, and then he locks on to get a back 270 out. Like that is so obnoxious. That is such a, that, wow, that is such a tactical trick, man. Dude, I swear, three years ago, if you were just able to slide this double elbow kind of feature here, you would be blown up on Tinder, buddy. You'd be up in the golden ranks. Heck, you'd be up in the platinum ranks there, buddy. But no, you got to do a back swap? Oh, man. Transfers over back swap, and now he's sliding his opposite foot forward. And that again, that can't be taken lightly. That is so difficult. Oh, 270 up, trees the chain like, like a trampoline and gets the Misty 450 out. You just got, you honestly have to appreciate the spot location here. Take away the snow, take away the man-made construction. You tell me you see potential, because I sure as hell don't. Wow. Pops 270 up, hits the elbow, transfer. Ah, he's playing, he's playing hopscotch with twigs on his feet, brother. Oh my, just hitting this elbow transfer is difficult enough. Hitting that kink in a rail is so difficult to keep your skis locked in. But then to transfer over to that bar, lock in, and then transfer over to the next one. Dude, you just, ah, you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be pulling the finger. A little bit of a backcountry feature here. Yo, switched out 14, man. Ah, dude, so that's two flips, four full rotations. And he's landing switch and powder. Landing switch and pow is no joke because you can see you have to land so nose heavy. That way you don't do a full backwards tomahawk down the entire mountain. Popping a switch right side double cork 1080 there. Showing the judges he can spin both ways. Stop! Switch cork 7 to a switch fronty? Huh? I know real ski has historically kind of had an emphasis on urban skiing, but A Hall was like, bro, I've already, dude, I've already mastered the urban scene. You saw his disrespect to the Illuminati, dude. Like, dude, I swear, disrespectful. 
It was just too easy for him, man. It was just way too easy. So we had to get on the backcountry and just absolutely obliterate our expectations, man. Every single backcountry hit here, he landed switch. Even with the switch seven to the switch fronty to land switch. Like, that is so disrespectful to my skiing abilities. Cause I can't even I can't even go off a jump switch, honey. Oh, dude, look at the shovel, man. That's how you end it at it. Oh. Next up, Alex Hackle skis for O and 3P man. Came out with a really sick pro model this year. And also came out with a really dope real ski part last year. Not sure what he placed, but I remember it was absolute, absolutely sick, dude. Look at that 270, man. That is so gosh darn big. That is so big, man. That was huge. That was such a big 270. Oh my lord, dude. Holy. And don't mind me, brother. I'm just going to go for the fattest 270 surface swap you've ever seen. And it's on the side of the biggest sheet of concrete you've seen in a real ski. That is so scary. Coming up, switch. What in the world? What in the world just went... What in the world am I watching? So that was a switch 900, going off the jump backwards, doing two and a half full rotations, except he decided to get nice and intimate with the sheet of blue frosty goodness. Oh, everything aside, that could have gone horribly wrong in so many ways. Incredible coordination. Oh, 90 up on the up bar to take it to an underflip 450 out there. You can see locks in a trail and safety grab too. Buddy, this is so gosh darn pretty. Oh, hand plant 270 off of this like 35,000 story building. The cinematography work here too. Double seven off of a two foot booter. A double cork seven. I swear, get out the ruler stick. That's 30 centimeters. Oh, buddy, I don't know if you watch any of my real life ski videos, but 30 centimeters of boot, man. That sure as hell not enough for me to hock a dub. How in the world? The cinematography dude just conveys this sad, strong emotion of, of abandonment and, and lawniness. It's like my father left me on the side of the highway, brother. But Alex is coming through with the steez to warm up our buns, man. Like, what interesting contrast. I'm trying to be all artsy. Stop! Oh, wow! Oh, trick of the year? Trick of the year, huh? Yo, trick of the year? I thought he was gonna go cork seven hand drag. Make a gander, man. He sets it like a cork seven, dips his shoulder like it'd be a cork seven, but he stops right at 450 to hit that hand drag. But he's gonna hit that hand drag so hard that's gonna stop all momentum and actually carry him opposite, in the opposite direction, 90. So you would call that a switch cork 450 hand drag to a Pretz 90. Or you can just call that some tasty, steamy goodness. <laughs> oh my lord. This is the same situation with Alex Hall doing that back swap on the double elbow feature. If Hackle just managed to slide this 30 billion kink or ALD, just simply slide it and lace it, that would have been an ending clip for any edit or any part released three years ago. Fast forward to 2021, man. Not only do you have to slide this thing, but you have to pump a back swap on it as well. Oh, dude, he makes it look so easy, but let me <laughs> rest assured, dude, it ain't, man. Ah, reincarnate yourself into this man's body. Take a little peep up to this rail and look at it. Then pop your skis on and be like, bro, yeah, I'm going to slide it and do a back swap right before I lace it. No, that's just, that's a sentence. That's a conversation that shouldn't be had amongst any group of people. Anyone, man. That is so hectic. Stupid. Next up, the absolute dawn, dude. This is one of the biggest inspirations of freestyle skiing. Tanner Hall, 37 years young, man. Still progressing in the sport. Tossing triples, man. When I'm 37, I just hope... I just hope to the good Lord I can carry a glass of water without spilling it, man. Let alone be tossing triples. Unfortunately, Tanner actually tore his Achilles tendon while filming for this part, buddy. So rest assured the send engines were firing on all cylinders, but he's coming back strong. He's come out of surgery. He's currently doing a lot of physio if you follow this guy on Instagram. So stoked to see him come back to the sport doing what he loves. 
but you're you're gonna see some nutty clefs here i'm sure follows up the triple going for this huge cork 900 grabbing on the outside tail and then popping a 360 out such a sick feature yo dude oh double backflip uh, dude that's like such a ghetto feature it's like you're hitting a quarter pipe that goes up onto a step up that has another quarter pipe on top dude precise ah that was nice pops the switch 180 out loafed in it out dude gotta love his style man next up coming out in the streets goes lip on to the front 270 out of this kind of c dfd feature hey Dude, whenever you see anybody gliding through a curved rail, really appreciate it. Do me a favor, please. Really take a moment to appreciate what you're seeing. Not easy to grip, man, at all, especially when it's a down flat down. Like, goodness gracious. Also, if you're new to freestyle skiing, you don't know what a lip slide is. When you're going forward onto a rail, it's when you take your tails and put it over the rail first, rather than the conventional way of just taking your noses over first. Lip slide's a little bit more difficult to lock onto that rail with, so adds a couple style points from the judges. And dude, they just look tight, man. Get it, Tanner. Holy man, that is a huge gap there. Pumps up to the hubba there and gets the 180 swap over to the wall ride. So sick, dude. Taking some massive hits for the boys, man. 270 up onto this massive DFD there. Pulls it out to switch. Get it, buddy. Oh! Oh, man, I thought he was going to hold it at switch there. And that's been kind of a nuance in skiing, doing this, like, switch triple, switch double rodeo. But rather than pulling it to forward, you just hold it at switch. I know I'm not right, but, I'm not right. but, dude, he is boosting on the switch double rodeo 900 there, man. Such a big rotation. Going straight for the creek, dude. Shout out to the hydration game, man. Big nollie lip onto this huge hubba DFD. Yo, get 90 swap to the switch 50-50 down the last down piece. Oh, and you got to appreciate the preparation put into these spots, dude. You can't just pull up to this random piece of creep and slide it. There's a lot of work that actually goes into making a nice slick surface, dude. So props to them and the setup crew, buddy. Don't get enough recognition. Oh, my lord. Tanner is an absolute animal when it comes to backcountry skiing, dude. Lofty switch five over this massive gap. Oh, he's going to go dub flat seven there, hey? Oh, dude, shout out to Sammy Carlson. That's a Sammy Carlson trick right there, man. Double flat seven with the Japan grab. So sick, man. Freestyle skiing, if you ever hear somebody say flat or flat spin, it's describing a specific type of axis that the skier is hitting, the axis that Tanner Hall is hitting right here. And you can think of it as a backflip that's kind of on a cartwheel type axis. You can see sets kind of like a backflip, but he opens up his opposite shoulder to get it a little bit more cartwheel-like, if that makes any sense. That was a boosty part, man. Skiing, buddy, doesn't it just toot your horn? Oh, some good stuff there, Rubber Ducky. Still got three more contestants to get through, so look forward to the part two of this video coming out next week. In the meantime, go check out all these full parts for yourself, man. It's an absolute experience to watch it without without me on there. I'm devaluing the footage, buddy. Other than that, boys, yeah, you know I love you. And you know the good. Good Lord. Good Lord, man. Wow. Dude, he loves you, okay? We'll see you in the next one.